This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. To see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Let's begin the sample. Now let's create a mail-enabled security group. So I'll just go to the plus sign. Again, I've got recipients selected and group selected. Select security group. Going to add our display name. Let's say this is going to be for the desktop support department. And I'll just create the alias. This is what the email address is going to be. I could add a description if I'd like. Let's go ahead and browse. I'm going to put it in my groups OU here. Click OK. Scroll down. Owners. I could add owners if I'd like. Members. I'll just go ahead and add a few members. Let's say Leo Green and Ted Smith. So those are going to be the members of the group. I can choose whether owner approval is required. I'll go ahead and check that box to join the group and save. And there it is. So if we go over to Active Directory, let's go ahead and refresh. There it is. And we can see it's a security group and the scope was created as universal. Now if I wanted to use this group to also assign permissions, I could. And there it is. So I could just double click on it to add it, click OK, and use it to assign permissions because it's a security group. If we go over to Outlook, open up our address book, there it is. So we can use it to send email also.